everyone, Chef Freaky here. We're back with a brand new Minecraft Pocket Edition video. And in today's video, I will be teaching you how to use the scoreboard command that was recently added into Minecraft 1.7.0. So let's get right into today's video. So guys, if you didn't know too much about the brand new command that's been added into this version of Minecraft recently, it's okay because I actually did not know really anything about it. I actually had to do a ton of research in order to find out what the scoreboard command actually was. And what it is, it's actually a command that many map makers use in like mini games and stuff like that. Uh, they use it to display the scores of different players in their uh, server. Uh, I guess if you're in a mini game server, it was on the PC uh, version of Minecraft. And uh, it's used to keep track of the scores under a certain objective. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. We're going to go ahead and make our own scoreboard ourselves. So in order to make a scoreboard, we're going to do slash scoreboard just like this and then we're going to add ourselves an objective. So an objective uh, basically is what the scoreboard is actually keeping track of. Uh, we're going to be adding an objective and let's just uh, name this X for example and dummy uh, basically just means that you can only update the scores or update the scoreboard uh, using a command in order to update it. Uh, so we're going to put dummy and then we're going to put uh, let's just do subscribers for the fun of it you know we're just going to do subscribers that's what we're going to be keeping track of then it says added new objective x successfully so guys now what we're going to be doing is adding some players to our scoreboard or objective so let's do slash scoreboard and players because we're going to be adding them uh, slash scoreboard players add then we're going to type in our player name just like so oh i can't spell so chef frankie just like that uh we're going to be adding it to objective x and let's say we're going to start off with 1000 points so slash scoreboard players add chef frankie it's in quotes because i put a space in it uh if it doesn't have a space then you don't have to put it in quotes uh we're adding it to our objective x and we're adding 1000 points so let's go ahead and hit enter and as you can see, it says it added 1,000 to our objective X for Chef Frankie, and it's now 1,000. So guys, just for fun, I'm actually going to be adding another player that's not actually currently existing in our world right now, just for fun. Uh, so let's do slash scoreboard players add. And just as an example, let's say rage elixir and ending quotation and we're going to be adding it to objective x let's just turn them off with 800 just like that and as you can see we just added rage elixir to our scoreboard so the final step is to actually make the scoreboard up here visible on your screen so to do that you just go into your chat type in slash scoreboard just like so and objectives just like this we're going to be setting the display so we type in set display just like that and we're going to be making it a sidebar and it's our x objective and we don't really have to do ascending or descending or anything like that we just type uh, what we have right now into the chat we hit enter and just like that as you can see we have our live uh, not live it's actually uh, just kind of a joke it's our our fake subscriber counter so as you can see I have a thousand uh, subscribers. Rage Elixir for some reason has 800. Guess he lost about 2 million or something like that. Uh, so now let me show you a purpose that you can actually use the scoreboard command for in one of my other worlds. So guys, here is a pretty cool example of something you can do using the scoreboard command. So as you can see on the right side of my screen, we have me with 990 points, Unspeakable Gaming with 900 points, and Rage Elixir with 800 points. So what this is, it's actually a scoreboard system, a really simple one, that uh, every time you die or lose a life, and when you respawn, you actually lose 10 points. Uh, those 10 points get subtracted from your overall score. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. So let's say I'm actually in survival mode. Now keep in mind uh, right now that I have 990 points. So I'm going to go ahead, switch the default game mode to survival. Now let's say... Uh, you see this giant ravine here let's say i were to just jump into it and fall directly into the lava just like oh oh okay i guess it's going to be a, a slow death for me 
Uh, so as you can see, it says I died. So if I were to respawn just like that, as you can see, now I have 980 points. I used to have 990, but now I have 980. Well, here's how it actually works, guys. So over here, we have ourselves a repeating, unconditional, always active command block. And the command in it is test4 at e name equals chef freaky123. What it's doing is it's testing to make sure I'm still alive. But if you're making this command in your world, you're going to make sure that you have your name within the quotations. Otherwise, this will not work. And then over here, we have ourselves a comparator. You don't have to turn on the torch over here. You actually just turn it off. And if it actually tests to see if you're alive, these two torches will light up just like that. And make sure the comparator is actually facing this way towards this uh, impulse command block, uh, just like that. The command for this command block is scoreboard players remove. Then you want to put the player that's getting the points removed from it in quotes if it has a space in it. Then you want to type in the objective that it is. And since I'm removing 10 points from it every time I die, it's going to be uh, 10, just like that. So that's how this uh, really simple contraption works. Uh, how every time uh, you die, it removes 10 points. Uh, from your score. I think it's pretty useful uh, for mini games and stuff like that. So if you want to feel free to use it in your own world. So yeah, that's how you use the scoreboard command in Minecraft Pocket Edition 1.7.0. That will be it for today's video. If you did enjoy, feel free to drop a like on this video and subscribe. And uh, if you have uh, two accounts, uh, feel free to subscribe twice. And that will be it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you all in the next Minecraft Pocket Edition video. Bye!